Hi. Today we are going to be comparing two spirit bird flutes in the key of G. This one I specially ordered from Gary Cool. This is made from reclaimed redwood. The redwood was originally uh, used in creating a great big water tank and uh, they took it down and they salvaged some of the wood and some of it got to Gary Cool through a friend of mine, another friend of mine, um, and he's made a few flutes from that. And this is one that I had him made because I didn't have one in the key of G. And then, right after I got this, a friend of mine put this one up for sale and I went ahead and got that. This is made from beautiful figured maple and they both have his slightly different shape but hand shaped uh, kind of a nipple style mouthpiece and they both have slightly different versions of his eagle block. So first, we'll look at the uh, redwood flute. Now the maple flute. Higher notes, the redwood. Maple. Redwood. Sorry, let's try that again. Maple. Try these together. slight tuning differences between the two flutes. Playing them when um, a lot of my music is done with playing with other instruments, um, kind of in a modern-esque music context. And I can usually make up for those very slight differences just with my breath pressure when I'm listening back to that backing track and trying to hit a note to go with that music. So there are those little tiny wavers that you hear. That doesn't mean very, very much when 
you listen to what you're playing in, con in the context of that backing track and you can kind of make little differences because with different breath pressure you can change the pitch of the flute. There's quite a bit of change as I add more air going through the flute, the pitch goes up. So something to get used to and um, something to think about if your flute doesn't quite sound in tune, try varying the pressure a little bit. Just kind of a, an informational deal. So one more time, the Redwood and the maple. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below here in the video. Do you have a preference between the sound of the maple or the redwood? Can you hear a difference? What I'm recording this through is on my little lavalier mic. We're going to see what that sounds like. Something I've not tried before. Um, it's hooked up directly to my camera. And I'm just gonna see what this sounds like versus the built-in microphone on the camera. Uh, I think it's gonna reduce a little bit of the treble uh, that my camera usually used to pick up. And I had to kind of correct that in, in editing of my videos. But let me know what you think do you prefer the maple or do you prefer the redwood? Can you tell a difference? What is that difference that you're hearing? Let me know in the comments below. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed the video. And if you haven't already, please subscribe. Click the little bell right down over there also so that you can be notified the next time I post a video could be taking a look at one of my flutes, either for the first time or a more in-depth review, which I haven't done on either one of these. Those will be coming in the future. Could be a music video where I'm using the Native American flute as kind of the centerpiece in most of my music. Um, and in many cases, it is taking the lead role for a melody uh, and again, in most cases, it, it would replace like a vocal. Most of my music is a uh, instrumental style. It could be meditative, it could be more energetic, uplifting music, rock, ambient. It, I cover a pretty wide range. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. Please subscribe if you haven't already, and I hope you have an awesome day. Take care.